Now we also have to create the surface for our handle and to create the surface for the handle we can select the curve and then we can, can go to the multi-surface draft tool. Some programs also might simply call that extrude. So we can click on it, maybe make a double click, it might be easier. And then my drafting vector along the y-axis should be the y-axis. In my case, I'm also going to turn on my auto update. And the type, draft, that's fine. And then when I click on my curve, you will see that like there's a green line and there are some icons here, kind of like an arrow. If I, for example, click on this green arrow here, you can see that my mouse cursor, when it gets close to the green line, uh, turns the line yellowish. So I click on it. That means actually I flip the direction. That's kind of like the vector. Or now it is being extruded that direction or it's being extruded upwards. But of course, I would like it to go this direction. And then in the upper right corner, there you have kind of like a small arrow tip. If you move your mouse to it, you see it will turn yellow. And there is a number 10. That means 10 millimeters, that is how far, for example, this extrusion is long. And then if you click and move your mouse, you can drag it out. And it tells you in real time the distance. And then this part here is kind of like a rotation tool. So this way, for example, I could increase or decrease the last profile. So it's more like a conical shape, but I don't really want this. So here the draft angle, I turn into zero. And let's go into a top view. Yeah, I think the length is okay. I turn on hardware shade to make sure. Actually, it's not long enough. So I extrude this out a little bit more. And then I can close this tool, click nothing, click object, and we have created the surface for our handle.